Hello again. Just a quick update. It's a little bit of news about AT&T. They've done a successful spin-off of Warner Brothers and Discovery. And I'm sure you know who Warner Brothers are, but Discovery, that's like Discovery Channel and, you know, all of those. So how this works is... So I'll find the... I hope it hasn't disappeared now. So does this used to hold days lovely so how it works is basically when a spin-off like this happens AT&T used to own Warner Brothers and Discovery and they've now demerged them or created a separate entity I have no idea whether or not it would pay a dividend but AT&T completed its spin-off resulting in distribution of Warner Brothers Discovery shares with a ratio of 0.24 Warner Brothers per every one AT&T shares. So one Warner Brothers Discovery shares has been allocated to your account accordingly. Nice. Well, it says 0.5, but whatever. <laughs> so this also happens now i've noticed that this didn't change the return three four yeah it didn't change the return now the last one did the last demerger but that was when the existing because at&t hasn't disappeared the last one i can't remember what company it was but it completely vanished sorry yes it was a uh, solar senior disappeared and i got one called solar investment which is basically the same thing, but only pays a dividend four times a year. But because the one I invested in disappeared, my return went down, but it still shows the 3,000% up for something that, I'm, that I have, <laughs> yeah. because I put one euro in. So it's saying that the majority of this is profit, although I had this much invested in the previous company, and my return went down by like 40 euro. But this time the return didn't go down. AT&T's price, however, has changed quite drastically, and I deposited 15 euro to add to that because it dropped. I think it's like 25% down my position now. It's took quite a hit. Yeah, there you go. That's on the week. 20% down for the week. Quite a hit, and this is coming off an already bad like. This goes back to 2013. It was pretty flat. Well, picked up a little bit. Oh, that's lockdown. Boom. And didn't really do well. Decreased quite badly and it is now falling down to here. So I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's not a great stock. And, oh, you, you can't really guarantee that a... Uh, your money will be safe there. Look, it's the largest telecommunications company in the world. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to go to zero if that's what you're worried about. If I had more money, I would put it in. That's my own opinion. And I think I've put in another 15 euro today. Now I have three shares and I'm only 20% down. It's the equivalent of 50 euro. But if it stays down there, I'm going to put more in. 5% dividend yield. So what will happen is if they continue to drop like this, they'll either pay less of a dividend, or which I think they already stated that they plan to, or they just won't pay it at all. That's kind of the risk you run with dividend stocks. Now sometimes obviously they can go to zero, but a company like this, 200,000 employees, not going anywhere. But anyway, Warner Brothers also, I have no idea whether or not they're going to pay a dividend. We'll find out and I like, I really like the idea of having them in my portfolio. It just means it's got a little bit of nostalgia for me. Good old Warner Brothers. Hopefully they pay a dividend, but worst case scenario, if they don't, I'll sell them at some stage in the future. And one more thing. What was it? Oh, yeah. yeah well, two more things. Digihost. I threw in 30 euro to buy 10 shares which is now 16% down. You know, you never really know what's going to happen. Yeah, if I had a bit more money, I'd throw some in. This is the one that says they're going to offer the option to pay dividends in Bitcoin, which is pretty interesting. This is a Bitcoin mining company. 
and I think that will be the third quarter of this year. They're going to offer it. Now, Trading212, this platform doesn't have cryptocurrency, so I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. And yes, I remember. Number three is a name change. Alliance Data Systems, I think, is gone. Yep. And it has been renamed as Bread Financial. It's an unusual name, but certainly stands out. So I think the old one, Alliance Data Systems, was ADS, the ticker symbol. But now it's just Bread Financial Holdings, which is BFH. And this has also had a bad year. It's 50% down for the year. Oof. As far as I know, these are a really good company. Yeah, nearly $16 earnings per share. Formerly Alliance Data Systems. It's a tech-forward financial services company, and it provides simple, personalized payment, lending, and saving solutions, including proprietary direct-to-consumer credit cards and deposits. Yeah, so I'm not sure why. Uh, didn't really mention anything about renaming, but this actually happens quite a lot. If it's something big like a demerger, or an acquisition, or a merger, or something like that, or even uh, dividends being paid out, as additional shares or something uh, trading two and two will let me know in notifications but it's happened a few times where names have just changed so I don't know not really sure seems quite decent now 20% quarterly profit margin looks to be the same for the year don't really know how that works but okay oh maybe it's just following this year but maybe it's not year to date yeah, 90% debt to assets. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. See, this would be another good one for me as well to uh, kind of lower my average. So I got in at $72 and it's now 54 mm. But we'll see what happens anyway. I think that's really it, up to date. Nothing else mad has happened. The stocks don't seem to be doing very well. I don't know if it's just my positions, but a lot of them seem to be falling off cliffs. I got a notification as well about German banks. Yeah, they get hammered. Oof. Hmm. Anyway, hopefully it's not too nasty for the coming days.